Hello. Distance N has created brand new templates for us to use for our canvas shells. Some of these they would like to replace our existing ones. And here is some of the ones they have to offer. And I'm going to show you how to find them. So first I've logged into Canvas and I am going to click comments. And then up here, I'm going to do DVC instruction distance ed. And I get this page. So these are templates for you to use in your Canvas show. And there's some new ones. I actually like these three, DVC hybrid module, DVC synchronous module, and asynchronous module. There's also a homepage template and surveys, discussions. So new ways to do these. Now, the reason why I'm writing you is the DVC course orientation. They would like us to actually use this format and not what we were taught in 2020. So this is updated links for the orientation, course check-in quizzes, everything you need to create your show. Support Hub, so these are all new. Canvas Toolkit, all of these links are new. And to copy this into the course, I come over here and click Download. I click Import. I then pick the class I want to move it into. These are all the live classes. Yes, I have a ton of classes right here. So these are all sandboxes. So you select the class you want to move it. Now, I was checking out the new homepage. And we can still use what we have as our homepage. But professor contact, office hours, getting started. I like these buttons down here that they had. And so these are quick links, they're uniform. I actually like going one step further. I completely stole this from one of our nutrition teachers, and I actually have six buttons that are three by three that will take them to past modules. I actually have a big blue button to take them to the current module. But I like that on the home screen that there's buttons down here. So in closing, they'd like you to update your course orientation over the summer to have this format. Some of them you could probably recycle. And also check out what they've done. Apparently they've done a lot of really cool modules that you can just plug in. And that's what I'm actually planning to do for my class. Thank you.